check out this monstrosity of a box and more importantly the contents wing one packaged nicely mm, this canopy is large fins nose parts hope this is a better spar than the last one i broke which cannot be This is one of the weak sides. It's a very weak fit. But also how often do you have to access your ESC so you would just glue this, this part in. And this has some parts for the wings. It's a 10 by 7 counterclockwise. Quick and easy. Try fitting. It's too large for this perspective. No, it works this way. There we go. Cannot be magnets are strong enough and also the back side. So this is a lot of wing area. We got four servos, uh, metal gear servos, all the same. Connectors for the servos and some covers and Y cable. The motor is a 2814 1100 kV motor and 50 amp fly color fly dragon light ESC and what I like really long XT60 plug yeah because this is all the way in the back and you want to plug in the battery quite far in the front the 10 by 7 inch prop Lee from Painless 360 used the folding prop. I want to go with this and with the motor brake setting and see if I get away with it because this worked quite well on my other planes until now. I used some hot glue and some time to install the servos and the push rods, but it was a yeah, nice and easy job. Everything works out nice. Cables are long enough. They are longer and shorter control rods. And by instinct I would have taken the longer ones for the main wing and the shorter ones for the V-tails, but it's the other way around. It's longer here on the little V-tail than on the main wing. So shorter control rods here on the wing. ESC back there, the GPS will be there, and that's the cable mess of my expensive flight control. Crossfire, beeper, and the DJI. Did we apply any stickers yet? But we will see how good it flies. Yeah, I had this weird issue that on powering on, sometimes the control surface is in a random position. Now everything is fine and I hope it stays this way in the flight. And I will do the maiden flight with auto launch. No winds. It's good. Auto launch. Das war kein Absicht, Okay, it was a, a stressful flight. Yeah, the motor angle makes it fly weird. That's why. Okay, back to the hangar to tune this thing better. And then we will fly it again. This motor is tilted a bit to the left. So this looks now way better. It really gave me a bad flight behavior. And what helped is using those screws. I was able to tighten them way more than the original screws because the original screws are too soft. 
throw away the stock screws and get decent ones and a screwdriver that really fits. Hold it that way so that you can uh, really press firmly against the motor mount but don't over tighten them obviously. I got the sewed 7000 milliamp lithium ion pack in it. Easy to obtain CG with this. As you see, we get plenty of room inside this plane. Right in the middle section is where you can mount any camera CG neutral. So I mounted my heavy little Caddx peanut there. This is the heart of the plane with the Matec H743 flight control. There's just a little Byton 220 GPS chip, but good. If you plan to disassemble the wings for transportation, then this solution with the screw here is a bit unfortunate. Uh, you can reach it with a screwdriver, but yeah, make sure that you don't have too much stuff in the way. I had to get such an extension because I ordered the wrong TrueRC singularities. They were SMA and not RPSMA, bandy antennas. They maybe it's not the best in terms of aesthetics, but they for sure give me really good transmission signal from up there. Not sure about this 10 by 7 prop. Maybe I can use a smaller one and get less vibration. Standard way of mounting a crossfire antenna there. These kits here are protected with tape and this tape is really grippy. I like it a lot. And the all up weight of this plane with the camera is now roughly 1.5 kilograms. We'll see how good this heavier, hopefully more stable plane can handle the mid medium winds. In acro mode it flies definitely better, but not too good. Glides nicely, flies like 30 kph into the wind and then it uh, just pops down. Yeah, don't fly below 30 kph. But it, yeah, it glides nice against the wind. Let's see. So on 57% throttle I need 12 amps. I can get good speed or climb. Whoa. <laughs> Saving auto tune. Ready to fly. Oh boy, <laughs> that was such a bad landing. But I got like really the weirdest gusts going on in the landing strip. All other flying was kind of nice and predictive, but uh, when I wanted to land it, yeah, it like was stuck in the sky and then oh, it almost stalled me. The weird behavior because of the motor tilt is totally gone now that the motor is straight. So make sure that the prop line is really straight. Acro mode while was quite dialed in, so the settings I estimated were okay. Of course, I post 
all the values, all the findings, a lot of information down in the video in the description. I'm not 100% sure about using the lithium ion sails if you want to fly it a bit faster. Bigger motor and the really large prop demands quite a lot of your battery. I saw 37 amps as a max draw. Considering the winds, this flight was really a good test for the plane. And I'm quite sure that my AR wing would have struggled way more in these kinds of winds. I really love the grippiness of the tape. But landing was really sketchy and also the landing yesterday was really really sketchy so whew, could have gone really bad. Check the links in the description for the manual of the ESC. You should really program the motor brake, most aggressive braking, because you want this prop to be standstill if you land or else it will break quite sure. Also check out Lee Schofield, Painless 360's review. He likes the Dolphin a bit more than the Mars. Check out his review, it's quite good. How do you like my yeah, like little mouse cutout? I made it because I was concerned about cooling of the air unit inside. If you have questions, uh, check out my description. I put all the things that I learned while building it uh, down there with some tips and Maybe the pit tune, although you should do it on your own, but yeah. So you find some tips there, uh, links to like the EC manual and stuff like this. Uh, if there are still questions left, uh, ask me in the comments. Subscribe, hit the bell. Be nice to Mr. Shim. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.